Uh, very good morning, friends. In today's video, we are going to discuss the composition of fuzzy relations. Uh, first, we have to know how are we going to create relations in case of fuzzy sets. So we have two fuzzy sets, set A and set B. In that case, relation R will be the Cartesian product of A and B. The Cartesian product is basically, uh, you can say, the combination of all the elements of two specific sets. Uh, especially if we are talking about uh, the uh, relationship or the relation of uh, two fuzzy sets, if the sets are fuzzy, in that case, when we compute the Cartesian product, we generally concentrate over the membership function of those one. So how we are doing that? We are just generating the possible combinations of uh, matrix, uh, the element of A and B, and then we will find out their uh, membership value, and then we will get the minimum of the two memberships. Right. For example, let's see we have a set A, we have another set B. These two are the fuzzy sets with their membership values given over here. Then when we will find a Cartesian product that is A cross B, what we will do, we will have the possible combination of A1, B1, A1, B2, then A2, B1, A2, B2, then A3, B1 and A2, A3, B2. Right. So uh, when we are uh, having this, then uh, using then when we are placing the values over this uh, specific matrix, so the uh, when um, we are multiplying a1 with B, b1 then uh, the minimum value of 0.2 and point to here same a1 with b2 we are having 0.2 then a2 with b1 okay a2 b1 values are 0 0.7 0 0.5 minimum is 0.5 then a2 b2 0 0.7 and 0 0.6 we have 0 0.6 then a3 b1 we have 0.4 as minimum 0.4 will be here then a3 b2 we have 0.4 again as minimum 0.4 is here this way we are getting the Cartesian product of A and B and that will be our relation R in this case. Right. So this is basically how we generate relations for fuzzy sets by getting the Cartesian product and getting the minimum of the membership values of uh, two different sets. Right. So composition, what composition is basically? Composition is basically forming a new relation from two existing relations. Say we have R and S is uh, are two different relations over there then we can find our composition s and that will simply give us uh, say a different uh, cartesian or the different relationship of two different matrices right let's see an example we have say two fuzzy sets a and b uh, and c is uh, another fuzzy sets there then we have a relationship r that is getting that is having the uh, cartesian product of a and b we have another relation s s is as uh, b cross c r is as a cross b S is as P cross C. So what we are getting, they are representing set of events. See, we are saying ki, uh, by the relationship R, we are saying the possibilities of B1 to occur after A1 is 0.5. Same in this set, in this relation, the possibility of occurring C1 after B1 is 0.9. So if we have a question that what is the possibility of occurring C1 after A1, how will we do that? Because in this relation, we can only relate B1 with A1. In this relation, we can only relate C1 with B1. But we want to relate C1 with A1. In that case, we have to use composition. Right? So let's see how we are doing composition or how we are getting the relationship of C1 with A1. Okay. So we have two relation R and S. So how we are getting composition? Composition is similar to matrix multiplication, only the difference is this, we are using max min combination over here. So you have first row, you will multiply all elements of first row individually with all element of first column of another relation. Say so point 0.1 will be multiplied, sorry, point 0.1 and point 0.9 and you will get the minimum of point 0.1 and point 0.9 here. Again, point 0.2 and point 0.2, we will get minimum of those. Point 0.0 with point 0.8 and you will get minimum of them. Point, uh, sorry, 1 and point 0.4, you will get minimum of them. So in that case, minimum of point 0.1 and point 0.9 is point 0.1 itself. Minimum of point 0.2 and point 0.2 is point 0.2. Minimum of point 0.0, point 0.8 is point 0.0. And minimum of 1.4 is point 0.4. And you are seeing point 0.4 is being placed here as the maximum value of point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.4, point 0.0. Right? So point 0.4 is here. Same you will do with first row and second column. Okay, and you will get 0.2 as the maximum value of this one. Again, you will do first row with the third column, and you will get maximum is 0.3. Okay, then you will do second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column. Then third row, 
first column of this third row second column of this third row third column of this and first you will get the minimum like this one and then you will get the maximum of those and you will make another matrix and from there we can get a relationship that occurrence of c1 after a1 is 0.4 occurrence of c2 after occurrence of a1 is 0.2 so this is basically a new relation that we have generated now because of composition. So this is how composition works and the benefits of composition basically. So guys, in upcoming video, we are going to discuss defalsification. Till then, please give your comments. Thank you very much.